Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Tobe, and I am just here to reflect on the court uh, judgment uh, in, Bula, in, in the Supreme Court, rather in Harare, this afternoon. You will know that uh, there was a case in which 12 aspiring MPs were representing the mainstream opposition that is triple c the citizens coalition for change uh, who had been barred from contesting the 23 august elections uh, because they allegedly submitted their nomination papers at the nomination court later than uh, the required time or after the close of the nomination court uh, there were 12 of them and all of them were interestingly from one province that is Bulawayo. You'd know that Bulawayo has got uh, just 12 uh, parliamentary seats and these uh, were all um, but one in the hands of uh, the opposition. Uh, actually the opposition has turned Bulawayo into a stronghold since uh, the 2000 uh, elections so these 12 had been barred i mean the the 12 candidates for triple c had been barred from contesting the 23 august election after a, a zanu pf linked men by the name love day mangwana had gone to court to claim that these 12 uh, aspiring candidates or uh, aspiring mps rather had submitted their nomination papers after the close of the nomination court the high court had uh, ruled in favor of the appellant that was mr mangwana but this case was taken higher by the party that is triple c to the supreme court to challenge the barring of these 12 mps it was heard yesterday and the judgment was reserved for today we have just been informed that the court has ruled that is the supreme the supreme court has ruled in favor of triple c and the bulawayo 12 that had been dubbed the bulawayo 12 if they had continued to be part of if the supreme court had upheld the high, the high court ruling that would mean that bulawayo would not have uh, anybody contesting on behalf of triple c you will know that triple c is the mainstream opposition party in Zimbabwe. They are the main challenger uh, to ZANU PF coming, I mean, going to this election and them having all their aspiring MPs banned would mean that uh, the people of Bulawayo would have had their strongest uh, candidates uh, set aside. It would mean that ZANU PF was likely going to have a clean run towards parliament in Bulawayo. It would have been the first time that ZANU PF would have been presented with uh, its strongest position going into an election in Bulawayo. It would mean that for the first time since uh, 2000, ZANU PF would go into an election hoping to win a majority of seats in Bulawayo. But as it were, this is a victory for democracy because ZANU PF and Triple C will meet head to head in Bulawayo, and the better side in terms of support is expected to win. And that means that Triple C is highly likely to win Bulawayo, as it is highly likely to win ever any other event center. So, this is worth uh, celebrating for anybody who. Uh, is an ardent supporter of democracy or of the fight for democracy because we are not saying that the people of Bulawayo should vote Triple C, we are not saying that they should vote Sanu PF, but we are saying that the people must be given the best possible pool of candidates and without either of Sanu PF and Triple C that cannot be said to be uh, a strongest pool. This is also a victory for democracy, for democracy in the sense that we have had fears, mounting fears 
of the judicialization of elections in Zimbabwe. It is still a set a turn of events that we have had the courts having to decide for the people instead of having the people deciding who should lead them through the ballot. But now that this has been overturned, we are happy that at least for now, the people will be allowed to choose their legislative representatives through the ballot as per the requirements of democracy. And we hope that we, this is the end uh, of these court cases whereby an election, just 20 days before an election, we are still being held before courts. Where our the, the fate of democracy has to lie in the courts. So I hope that this is going to be the end of this uh, judicialization of elections and Zimbabweans will be free to not only elect their representatives through the ballot, but also to be at ease knowing that whoever they want to elect will be on the ballot paper come 23 August. Uh, you will know that uh, also the case involving former ZANU-PF political commissar, uh, Mr. Sevia Kasukwere, has been, uh, as we are told, referred again to the Constitutional Court or is going to be referred to the Constitutional Court in which Kasukwere is appealing the Supreme Court judgment to uphold the earlier ruling that his candidature for the presidential election uh, is bad. So we hope again that this one is also going to be determined before we go to the polls or before the printing of the ballot papers which has been delayed by these court cases uh, thank you very much this is what we had for you uh, please don't don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it